All right, today's quick video was on utilizing stacked and condensed splits to create, create switch releases and why we do that. It's one of those things that gets thrown out there a lot, like let's stack or switch release, but I wanted to give a specific example as to why that's important and why it works. So a quick example would be here. Let's say we're trying to run double post, trying to take the middle safety with the, uh, with the inside post and the outside post. We're trying to run a post and attack that seam vertically between the free safety and the corner. Most cover three teams are aware of that. Therefore, the field corner will play slightly inside leverage to help take away post. Um, what could you do in utilizing a stacked release or a switch release from a condensed set to solve that problem? What we want is to get inside leverage on this corner. So if I take these two receivers and put them very close here, I'm probably not going to get an inside alignment from the corner anymore. Now, if this guy runs the post and he wide and then runs the post. I'm probably going to get better leverage on that corner. And I'm also going to get a free release if anyone was trying to collision two vertical in a three match or catch scenario. So the stacked release allows us to create better leverage on certain players given certain concepts. It also allows us to create switch releases, um, which again allows us to create leverage and attack areas of the field that defenses perhaps had solutions for in certain components of their coverages.